Hi everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is just going to be a plan with me in my pocket moleskin daily. I believe we're in week 17, are we? Yes, we are in week 17. For those of you who are new, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. And if you do, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. For everybody else, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Let's jump in, shall we? I'm excited to do this week because Monday is my birthday. Yay me. All right, so what we're going to do is today's Friday. I know so many of you guys are at Go Wild and so many have asked me why I didn't go and I did a short story about it on my stories rather. Um, but yeah, maybe next year I'll get enough nerve to do that. But at any rate, today's Friday, so obviously Saturday and Sunday are not full yet. However, the palm tree guys were gonna come today and he hurt himself on the job yesterday. So he's gonna come next week. And then today I have happy hour with my girlfriend and um, she's one of my good friends has been my friend since I was working for this company I think it's like eight or nine years now happy hour with Kay so we're gonna do that today um, all right so let's just get started shall we I want to pull it out because it's starting to do the little curvature I don't know guys I'm really wondering if I want to do the pocket moleskin next year. I'm already kind of asking myself this question, which I know you guys probably think I'm crazy because I say this and then I end up doing it. But all right, we are in 291. We're going to start. Let me make sure that I don't go past my point. I have my coffee here because my throat's been hurting today. So I will probably edit out when I take those sips. I'm not one of those people who grabs the coffee while I'm filming. So I, if you see these odd little cuts, it's because I'm editing out my sipping of my coffee. So at any rate, um, yeah, palm tree guys were supposed to come. He called me this morning and said he hurt himself on the job. And today it's actually really overcast and really I want to say cold, but it's very cool. It's the first time, I don't know if you can hear the heater kicking on. It's the first time that I have had the heater on in a week or two. Boy, is PG&E gouging us, you guys. Like my bills, I have a three bedroom house and I have a lot of sliding doors and like glass doors because I have a pool. So our house is kind of built around that pool. And so like during the winter time, we have the heater on a lot. I have a fireplace, but it's not one of those fireplaces that blows air. So it only kind of heats up the front of the house, the dining area and part of the living room. Am I going the right way? Yeah. And so during the winter time, my bill was like $650 and I just got the current bill and it's the first time I've seen a bill under 400, which is insane to me. Like I can't even fathom that. I don't know if it has to do with my pool sweep or I don't know. I just know it's, I've been just gouged you guys, like no joke. So I got a bill for 325 and I was like, yay, it's not $700. But I say this as I kick on the heater right now because I'm freezing. I am freezing today. I was freezing yesterday too. The kids thought they said I was crazy because it wasn't cold, but I just couldn't get warm. Oh, I just went down. Yikes. It's that curvature, you guys. I'm gonna have to, and it's only April. Normally, last year, it started to get that way in June, I think, June or July. We were at the halfway point. So yeah, how's everybody doing? How are you guys? 
I'm actually enjoying doing my weekly plan with me's, my quick plan with me's in my everyday carry. So I'm gonna be doing those I think every morning and possibly posting them on Tuesdays. Cause I, I don't know, I've just been enjoying it. It's not super intense. I'm just going through what I would normally go through on a Monday, close out the previous week and prep for the current week. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes for now. Let's see, what other things are going on other than I'm old. My birthday is on Monday. I'm turning 48. We did a poll. I don't know if I talked about this last time about deciding whether or not I want to dye my hair because my grays are coming in. And a lot of you guys on Instagram mentioned, you know, I should just embrace my tinsel hair because it is coming in quite nicely. However, the other day I posted on my personal page to all my friends and family, and I don't know if it was the lighting or what, but the top of my head was so much white hair, tinsel hair, because it's not white, it's like a grayish, shiny grayish color. And I called my daughter, I'm like, oh my gosh, is this just bad lighting? And she's like, mom, that's how, that's like your real gray hair, that's what it looks like. I was mortified. I was like, oh my God, I'm over here thinking that it's, there's my numbers, let's find our letters. Um, I'm over here thinking I'm like aging cute gracefully and oh my word, can I just say I startled myself. I was like, is that how much real white hair? I'm in denial, you guys. I'm in denial. And I was laughing because when I was a kid, my mom, in my head, she was always 32. And even like, we giggle now because she's like 72 or something, 72, 74, I can't remember. But we giggle because people will ask, how old your mom? And I say 32 because it's like a running joke. When I was a kid, she just was always 32 in my brain and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't see past that. And so I tell Belle, I'm like, I'm gonna just, I feel like I'm still in my 30s. I'm gonna be 32 forever. And you know, in reference to my mom and giggling. And she's like, mom, your oldest son is 32. And I, my mind was blown. I was like, wow, because I had my son when I was a senior in high school. There's a whole story behind that. And um, so I had my son very young, I was 17. And so I was laughing. She, when she, it was a reality check, you guys. She's like, you can't say you're 32 when your oldest son is 32. And I'm like, oh my word, I am old. <laughs> you know, when we were kids, we used to think that anybody in their 40s was like old. And, you know, we were talking about my friend, one of my friends that I used to, Denise, that I used to spend the night at her house all the time and she would come over to my house. I was laughing because I was like, wow, we're the age of their parents, you know, our best friend's parents. And it's just so weird because we used to think they were so old. And so, and I'm like, we are that age. Like, if not older, we're older than that. So it's just funny. So I can't say I'm 32 when my oldest is 32. And you know what else is funny? I'm sure you guys are going to relate. And specifically me, because I did have a child very young. It's not normal to have a son or a child at 17 like I did. But um, I used to get all the time, even in my 30s, I would be like, oh, they're, they're like, oh, how old are your kids? And I'd be like, oh, 18, you know, 10 or whatever I would say, right? And they're like, you have an 18 year old? No way. Now people ask me how old my kids are and I'll say, oh, 32, 20, whatever, 19, whatever, right? And they're like, oh, and that's it. And I'm waiting for the, oh my God, you're so, you're too young to have a 30 year old. Nope. They're just like, oh, that, that tracks, <laughs> you're old. <laughs> and so it's just so funny. Every time I say it and nobody responds the way they used to, like, oh my God, you're too young to have a 30. Now I look at my 
my hair and whatnot, my grays. It's just, I giggle every single time because I know now nobody's gonna say how young I look and how, so it's just funny. It's just so funny how, you know, how aging works. And when we're kids, we think everybody's so old. That kind of went a little too to the left. Let's see if I can fix it without tearing the page. So anyways, I feel, I feel like I'm in my thirties. I may not look that way, but I feel that way. And after losing the 80 pounds, I'm, I feel healthy. I feel good. I went and did, as you guys probably remember, I went and did my mammogram. I recently did my cervical testing. You know, my labs, everything's come back really well except for my vitamin B and that's the one that they're super concerned about. I have labs on Monday actually on my birthday because I have to fast to make sure hopefully that my B12 has gone up because since January I've been taking this pill under my tongue every day and it's supposed it's one of the it's the dosage that you're supposed to take once a week and I was so like severely deficient that I've had to take one per day and um, and I was reading an article which makes it tracks man which talks about like if you're severely deficient in B12 it is akin to it is like having dementia you start to have like really loss of memory and those kind of functions and I was like wow that makes sense because I didn't realize how deficient I was but I was having all these weird kind of side effects or experiences with my memory and so anyways I have new labs coming on Monday. I have to fast and we will see if everything comes. But like I said, thankfully, you know, I have my health. I realize like how lucky we are. So anyways, that's that. I don't think I'm gonna put any birthday stuff here. I'm just gonna decorate like normal. It's a normal day, a normal day. But yeah, that's kind of everything else. Everything else has just been chill and nothing major going on. Let's see, do I wanna go halfway? Let's cut these, you guys know me. Am I gonna run out of, how do I wanna cut these? I guess like this. We'll see, we won't know till we know. There we go. We're just gonna, we're all, we're already at half. Wait, should I just do? Actually, yeah, let's just finish off the month, right? We might as well do those last two days. Why not? Oh my gosh, that means I have to come up with a May theme, you guys. I haven't even thought about it. How is this the end of May? What is, I mean, of April? What in the world? We're just going to finish off the month because there's only two more days after this Plan With Me week. And then next week we'll do May. Jesus. And my, I think I've said this a million times. My dad used to tell me, he's like, Miha, when you're, as you get older, time flies faster. It just goes by so fast. Boy, was he right. All right, let's bring these back so that I could just do these extra two days. And then we will do that. So we're just gonna go to my favorite restaurant for my birthday. I'm doing an early kind of happy hour with my, my best, one of my best friends. She's, she's my girlfriend that I've known forever. And we're doing happy hour tonight as an early 
and I took, I'm taking rather, Monday and Tuesday off. I'm taking my birthday off and I'm taking the day after my birthday because I just want to chill and get my garden up to date and not be stressed with work and have like, work can be very stressful for me, especially now that everybody's coming back from Paris. We're going to start getting into the rhythm of meetings again, budgets. So wrapping up the Paris apartment is almost done. And then the Chile house that they're building or remodeling rather is going to start. And, and let me just say, Paris isn't so bad because it's in euros, but Chile for me, I have a really hard time with the conversion with the Chile because it's in pesos and they deal with, they deal in like millions, if that makes sense. Like they don't, I don't know. That's the whole problem. I don't know. And it's, I have such a hard time with the conversion. I don't know why. And that's a problem because I'm the one transferring money to pay construction and pay architects and whatnot. And it's not a good thing when I can't figure out or I have issues every single time doing the conversion. It's annoying. Like for real. Let's do a big one up top, upside down and see how that works. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'm saying that I'll be happy when Paris is over, but the, uh, the designer in Paris, the guy that I deal with and his team, they're so sweet and they speak English. So they speak English, Spanish and French. And so it's so nice to, when I need to go, we go over budgets or we have meetings. It's super easy because, you know, he speaks English and everything that they send me, all these documents in French, I just, I Google translate it. Thank God. Thank God for Google Translate, you guys. The stuff that we have now that we didn't have when we were kids. I didn't know how to read a map until I was like 19. My husband taught me how to read a map, which I think is so funny now. Because now, like, who would have known that we would have had Google or not Google, yeah, Google Maps in your car that just tells you how to navigate through everything. We are so spoiled. This generation, I'm telling you, they are spoiled. The things we had to go through, getting lost, having to pull over on the side at, at, a, at a convenience store and ask the guy, hey, I'm trying to get here, How? where is the exit? And they explain to you, go to left, go right. Remember those days, those of us who are older? Oh my God, I remember my dad used to, every time we would go to Texas, we'd drive to Texas, my dad would get lost somewhere. And it was always somewhere near LA, he would get lost. And it was funny, because now, now we have our cars are all equipped with navigation stuff. Can you imagine what things are going to be like when we're in our 80s? I can't even imagine. I don't know if I want to imagine. Like, it, for instance, the whole ATM, right? We used to write checks. Then we went to ATM. You can pay things with your, your ATM card. I'm over here being stingy with these not and realizing that I'm already at the end. Like, what a nerd I am. Remember the days where you would have your credit card and you had to put it in the machine where it would do carbon copy? I worked at a pharmacy and I would have to get the person's card, 
do the carbon copy, give them a receipt, keep the receipt, my word. Then you had where you would slide it. Remember when we'd have our credit cards and you'd slide it? Then they kind of got rid of that. And then you had to insert your chip into the little thing, which some of the people still have the insert the chip. But most places now, all you have to do is tap. And even then, if you don't have your card with you, you have it stored in your Apple Pay, all you have to do is like do your phone and it'll pay. It's insane, you guys. So imagine in 30, 40 years, you're just gonna have like your fingerprint and it's gonna automatically come out of your paycheck. Like it's so insane to me how fast technology, but it's also scary. Like the AI stuff is super scary. All right, we're done with our upcoming week, my birthday. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And we just finished off April so that we can start May. And I will start looking for our May theme because I have no idea. Priorities, birthday. We're just gonna put birthday celebration, birthday fun, and we'll put that. Boom. We're so like laid back for birthdays. Let's just go banking and then we'll start filling out what we're supposed to do banking. I don't think I have any things to do other than my labs. And that's kind of it. Do I labs? I can't remember. Just day off, vacation. I did my lashes this week. I almost put lashes right there. I'm curious who, if, if you guys, anybody out there that watches me and follows me, if you guys went to go wild. Hopefully you're having fun. I'm meeting all kinds of people. Okay, I need to prep budget on this day for, because I get paid on Friday, so I need to prep budget. We're having family dinner here, so I'm guessing we're going to do family dinner at like 6 at my favorite spot. And this is a vacation day. We'll see if it actually becomes a vacation day because I really never have a vacation day. I always get a call from somebody and I have to stop what I'm doing to, to do it. Um, I think the 27th, I wonder if we're going to do family breakfast this week. Okay, so I, I don't think I want to do labs on Monday. I'm going to do labs on Tuesday. So that I can just chill on the 25th. I need to call priority. Call my friend because she's going to Stanford. Because she's going to go that morning and I just want to make sure she has support. Okay, 26 budget review bills because it'll hit that day and that's it blue apron got skipped this week so i don't have to worry about it i think that's it you guys we're all caught up okay so that's it we have my birthday then we just have labs on tuesday nothing going on on wednesday i'll be my first day back technically important call budget happens here and then just chill and I got, you know what? I need to find, I'll probably do that tonight. Actually no, cause tonight I'm going out. Tomorrow, priority is May theme on Saturday. I need to come up with the May theme and the stickers. All right, that's it. That's all we have for this week of 17th. I can't believe we're in week 17. 
All right, everybody, that is pretty much it. We are done, so I'm not gonna do stickers for the previous week because I'm not done yet with this week. What we'll do is when I set up May, we'll go back for the two weeks and put stickers. All right, everybody, that is it. That is our plan with me for week 17. Again, if you are new here, I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. And if you do, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. For everybody else, thanks for spending time with me. I always enjoy this part of my day. And I will see you for the next video. Bye.